Jason, Hollis Bone. Supposed to be raining about daylight this morning, but it ain't. Looks like we're gonna have a few hours before it rains to hunt. It's just about late. We gotta hustle on in. Don't oh, miss God. that turkey this morning it was kind of in a funny spot hard to get to and I was easing up there and I messed around and saw him on the ground and he just I stood there and they messed around and saw me and knew something wasn't right it's was pretty long way away and went back up the hill so I think I'm gonna drop down in this bottom and try to circle all the way around them. Man, I hate messing my hunt right up right at daylight. That's all I know to do. We're gonna loop around them and see what we can do. All right, so I came up to the barn, fixing to eat a little breakfast, Diet Dr. Pepper, and some of these Bell Vida breakfast. I've lost a pile of weight, y'all. I got to keep working on it. Oh, probably PJ crying up and have to go get her out. Oh, let's see. At least an easy 15 pounds. That's pretty good. Uh, trying to decide what I'm going to do here in a minute. I may go back hunting. But I'm going to look at the weather and see what time this rain comes before I do that. I messed up this morning. Turkey was gobbling good in the tree, gobbling in the tree. And I kept easing that way and I had is a long strip of cutover road beside it and uh wasn't really nowhere to sit down I, I didn't mind sitting in the cutover but and I knew he hit the ground hit the ground early gobbling and then he kind of quit and I said I'm gonna ease on up here and at least get to this curve and this thing goes around and goes up on a hill and I can see I mean it's wide open I looked up it's still hazy dark 
here he come. He had gobbled. I thought he went over the hill, but there's a little swag there, and he got down in it, and it was just, uh, made it sound like he was further away. I just messed up. I was done by quarter to seven. Just one of them mornings. I tried to circle around them. Couldn't do no good with them. What are you doing? What you doing? <laughs> That's all you want to do is jump anymore, don't you? Hmm? Come here, PJ. PJ. What are you doing? What are you doing, crazy? Hey. What you looking for? Smell old turkey? too fast for the camera girl all right had pj out for a little bit let her run around as bad as i hate to it is fixing to be time to start cutting grass with the old grasshopper as y'all can see i left it a little dirty from the last time i cut with it because i don't like a lawnmower anyway Normally, she will fire off. Boy, the cats have been using this thing as a bed. Oh, man. She will usually crank, but I don't know. I'm going to check the oil in it real quick. And see, we've had this thing. Go. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks good. It ain't been long been served as far as hours go. I forgot how many hours it's on. Let's see if she might fire off. Battery might be dead. 841 hours. Look at that. Oh, yeah. See how much gas she got in her. Forgot how to raise it. I always got a lever. I don't forgot about it. in it. Alright, so me and Cody lost some balls when we was hitting out here the other day. Most of them's about in here somewhere. We might have lost a couple over here, but I usually cut the, this old clover and weeds down anyway and then mule, move these mules and horses and kind of rotate them through the summer. So I'm going to cut a little high and see if I can find some balls without hitting them. So here's what I think I'm gonna do. Messed around and found a couple of balls while I was cutting grass. Oh, I ain't sure how many we missing now. I gotta count, but anyway, I am out of gas, so I couldn't cut any more grass. Didn't really want to, and it is raining now. It's gonna rain for I'm not sure how many hours, so I think what I'm gonna do, I got me a snack or two in the truck, and uh, I'm fixing to eat me a little bit, get me a little gas, in a couple of cans and then i hadn't done a whole lot of afternoon hunting this year i think i may hunt a little while this afternoon we'll see what we can get in crow calling all right so here's what i decided to do i'm gonna grab my rain suit 
and uh, I've got a little umbrella type thing. I don't know, I don't think the wind's gonna get bad, but it may rain from time to time, and I won't be able to film. I don't wanna go get in a blind. I've got a little umbrella thing that straps to a tree. I've deer hunted with it before, and I think it'd be big enough that I can get every, get under it with the camera and all. Fixing to ease into a spot and probably set up for a little while and call, and uh, if I hear one, we can get up and leave, but I don't think the rain's gonna be too bad, and I think it's gonna be out of here. It is one o'clock. I think it's gonna be out of here by three or so, maybe it'll be kind of on and off, hit and miss. But I'm gonna grab my stuff and grab my binoculars and try to ease into this spot and maybe we can get lucky. All right, I'm headed in. I could have swore I just heard one gobble. Might be careful, I ain't ready to call yet.
Let's go see what we got. Oh. Oh, Been sitting there way too long. Is that not good stuff? Golly, I done got in a bind. I've been sitting there so long, and I'm close. I mean, I ain't 20 yards. Golly, that turkey's up under me, boy. Y'all seen me video deer in this long old lane. Old Jake did it again, didn't it? It's a pretty good turkey. Got some. Got a, this was the strutter. I got him. The other one had kind of done about got out of frame anyway. Pretty good beard. He might be a three-year-old. Them old spurs is pretty sharp. It don't matter. It don't matter. It's a pretty bird, boy. I'll go in here and show y'all my setup. And then we'll... Uh, We'll talk about it a little bit. So I'm gonna attack my decoy. All right, so I clipped me a, a limb right there before I got in here where I could see the decoys. I wanted to back off the edge because I ain't heard a gobble. So I'm sitting in here. Look, you can't see nothing that way. And turkeys was 15 yards before I saw them. Let me show y'all what I did. Let me get in here. I had my camera sit right here, right here beside me. And I just thought if they came from either way, I ain't gonna be able to get the camera on. So this right here is just, see if I can get me in there. It's just eye level and the camera's up under it. So I had my gun on my knee back and forth. I done got tired. I've been sitting there for about three hours and uh, but I, I was kind of planning on them coming from that way, even though that Jake, I don't know if I got him on video, came from that way. He got about 10 yards. That hen come by at about five yards. But what my plan was, I didn't know if I was going to be able to get my tactic cam on, but I did. I hope it worked, because that's the first time I really got it on. But I had my, I had my left hand on my gun, and... I was able to cut the camera on and whew, it's nervousness going on there, but oh, without a, the camera, it'd have been a piece of cake. Could have watched them for a while, but whew. but anyway, I got the camera on. And of course, I already got it pointed at the decoys and that's the plan. But this is my little umbrella thing. It's got a, I've had this thing for years. I ain't never hardly used it. It's got a, deal here that screws in the tree and you pop it in there and you can put it over your head and it was supposed to rain and it would be big enough without the wind blowing i could sit in here and turkey hunting rain and film but i was sitting there trying to figure out what i was going to do or what could help me because i mean they they 15 yards before i can see them 
So I put this up and I was able to, the turkeys was right over here before they got to that tree. And I was able to reach up here and cut the camera on and get everything rolling. And I actually took a chance. The turkeys was about right there and I had my gun on my knee and I reached up there and cut that tacticam on. I was just, and I had my hand down here until they got on that decoy. I just took a chance because I needed to see how that thing films and all. But every once in a while, things will come together. I love hunting in the afternoon, but boy, they didn't say a word. The only thing that said something was that old Jake. That old Jake was right over there. I think I got him yelping. I don't know if he was in view or not. All right, we're finna go look at this boy. All right, let's take a look at him real quick. And I got a hike to get out of here. Oh. Get him up here, get him. Find another pretty bird, y'all. A lot of fun right there. Afternoon turkey hunting. I'm gonna get in the truck and tell y'all a little bit on the way home. Try to get out of here. A lot went on that was pretty interesting before all this went down. But anyway, no goblin. I'm gonna grab up and get to the truck or to the ranger and then to the truck. So I'm gonna got a rope on him now. Heavy bird, he'll weigh a hundred pounds before I get back to that range. Alright y'all, a quick little recap of what all went on. It was supposed to be raining till about three or four o'clock, so I packed all my rain stuff, actually had my rain pants on and carried that little umbrella thing that goes in the tree. I believe that thing will work, as long as the wind ain't blowing too bad. But anyway, I had seen a bunch of tracks there and around uh, when I've been hunting and I said I usually don't do that I hadn't done that in a long time I just wanted to sit down and cool it for a while so I kind of tucked back in there and I knew when I saw something if they didn't gobble they was going to be close and uh, put my decoys out and then I come up with ideas since it wasn't raining to put my little umbrella thing there beside, beside me so I could get the camera on or I would have never got the camera on had that hen walk by, man, she was close, close. And then across the field from me, it's just a wall of briars there. And I was sitting there one time and all of a sudden I heard one fly and a turkey flew right over my head, lit in a tree. And it ended up being a jake. And then a few minutes later, one had flew up in a tree, I guess about the same time as that and did his buddy. He dropped down in the field and come right up there. I don't know if he was in view, but, uh, I should have some good Jake yelping on there if I did or didn't, whatever. But anyway, he got to calling, hunting his buddy, and his buddy had flew down and called behind him, and he cut right through the briars and went straight to him. So I was, I wasn't far from being ready to go, and I mean, I'm just kind of on pins and needles all day because if something comes in there silent or ain't, uh, actually, right before I saw these turkeys, I heard them drum and. By the time I heard drum, look, there they were. But anyway, oh man, they didn't say a word. Come right in there. God, it'd have been tough to get everything done without the decoys. Kind of glad I had them in that situation. But got, got the, I uh, don't know how the footage on the, uh, my little camera here, I'm filming with the G7X. So the footage from that should be pretty good. And I, I wanted to get the Tacticam. I've been playing with it and uh, I thought I had it on in Illinois and I had cut it off, but it should be on there and I'm wanting to see, it should be good footage. It, it may be better than the other camera because it should be zoomed in more, especially at 20 yards. And I just, a lot of times I leave the other camera kind of backed off to make sure I get them in there. But anyway, it went down kind of as planned. Um, I started to get up and kind of walking around and call like a normal run and gun deal in the afternoon and get one to gobble. And uh, since it wasn't raining, I said, no, I got all this junk with me. I said, I'm just going to sit tight and go with my plan. And it worked. So nice every once in a while when it works out like it's supposed to. Anyway, I hope all the footage was good. Y'all know by now. But anyway, 
I'm about to call it a day. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.